Howdy. Welcome to the Rhinestone Roper Place. Good to see you again. Today we're going to be talking about the arrowhead. We're going to work on variations of the butterfly. Those variations would be the arrowhead and the reverse butterfly and the turnaround butterfly. But today it's a first step in that direction. It's called the arrowhead. But first, go ahead and subscribe, push like, and uh, ring that little bell there. I'd appreciate it. Now, why do you want to learn the arrowhead? You want to learn the arrowhead while you're, well, the same reason you're learning a lot of these tricks is because it's fun. <laughs> is arrowhead necessary for you to put on a good rope and show? No, it's not. I don't know if I, really, I don't ever use it. I mean, I do once in a while just for kicks. But most of the audience won't even recognize what you did and they won't recognize how special it is. But the more rope tricks you can do with your rope, the more you understand your rope, the better you'll get at the tricks that are important. So why not? Now you know you can do the butterfly here and here and here. That's kind of how we worked on it on our videos. Now you can do the same butterfly here and here. It's the same thing, only to the, on your side. Now I'm gonna turn away from this butterfly to come over here on my left side and change underneath. Right there is the, right here, right here is kind of a peculiar motion to the arrowhead. Now we talked about with your butterfly going palm up and palm down, palm up and palm down. With this offside of your arrowhead, it's a reverse, it's a reverse spin. You're doing your crossover with your butterfly motion on the underside rather than over the top. When you're on the back side of your arrowhead, you need a, a preparation with your arm. You're gonna get this arm ready to come over, come over the top in this direction. I'm coming over here, I'm gonna get my elbow up and then bring it over the top. And then back to your butterfly. And we're coming underneath here and get that elbow in the air and, and bring it over the top to keep it going. If you exaggerate this motion too much, you'll spin it too hard and your, your Honda will slip towards you and your loop will get bigger. So there's a, with everything we do, there's a, there's a happy medium. But on this back side, you do need to get this elbow in the air so you can bring this loop around. Turn away from a little bit, bring it underneath. Here's the arrowhead. Take it nice and slow. Don't over exaggerate your motions. It'll work out good. Go ahead and push subscribe and ring that bell. 
I'd be interested in hearing your opinions about the arrowhead. Check out these other videos. Have fun with your rope.